That's Jason Williams. That's the back of Jason Williams. Yeah, you're not allowed to see the front because he doesn't want people to see his moustache. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Dean Count Show. Today, I'm going to be on a panel being asked random questions live on Facebook. You may have already seen it because it takes a while to edit these things. So it's part of the launch of Jerry, which is an online training program designed to give people anywhere in the world the opportunity to learn equally uh, through an online platform, which is amazing. And um, it's being supported by Maverick Drinks in the UK. So they're doing an official launch today and it should be awesome. I'm on a panel with some really important people as well, which is amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming along today. Uh, Jerry is a platform that was originally developed by Proof & Co in Singapore, and we realized that there is such a huge need for just a great, in-depth, thorough e-learning platform on hospitality. So uh, should we roll into what makes the modern bartender? First of all, you need a lot of self-confidence. When I say self-confidence, I don't mean arrogance, um, but self-confidence will help you get through some of those really difficult times when you are on show, you are interacting with two, three hundred people a day and sometimes people can be miserable and horrible and self-confidence is the difference between turning on them and, and attacking a guest because they've been cruel to you and having the capacity to take the hit and understand that like they've had a bad day, they're here to, to release a little bit of pressure. So confidence in yourself is huge because it can you know, people can suffer a little bit if they lack self-esteem, they lack confidence. Um, after a few years of giving so much out to a group of people around you, I think being a um, self-starter, you need to get up in the morning, you need to get things done. You can't rely on your manager to tell you what to do. You need to learn what you, what you need to do behind a bar and you need to be able to get that job done regardless of whether or not you're the only person left on a station because two people have been whisked off for whatever reason. Um, you need to kind of be self-motivated and I think that translates from being a bartender or a bar back right through to being the general manager of a place or the owner of a bar, which is one of the things that gets me on the courage side. I get distracted very easily. I have a bouncy kind of crazy personality so I have more and more uh, needed to <laughs> rein myself in and stop kind of just entertaining myself all the time and think about what's going to happen when I have an entire team of people that rely on me. And thirdly, like actually caring. I think you really do need to care because if you're working in a bar and, or restaurant or anything else and you're serving people and you really care about them having a good night, when they have a good night, <coughs> then you feel good. And that good feeling kind of is what it's all about. You, you can lift yourself up, you can be having a horrible time at home, you leave it behind you, you, you run a shift, and at the end of that shift, the people that are in the room, the party that happened, the birthday, has lifted your spirits. So if you care, you can be lifted by it, and then if you've got the confidence, it, does, it doesn't let you take too much to heart. And then the self-starter, nice three skills, I would say. The big challenge that we face is focus. Nowadays, there's an infinite amount of information w without the focus of where I want to go. I mean, you don't have to have a clear three years I'm going to do this or five years I'm going to do this. But even having some idea of, uh, you know what, I'd like to run Maverick someday, for example, and then just work backwards. <laughs> and say, I want this guy's job. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but, but just to say, you know, and then work backwards, like what would I need to do to do that? Okay, well what would I need to do to do that? Alright, well I would need uh, mastery of these, I would need to know Excel. Okay, how can I learn Excel? Well I should take some Excel classes or whatever. It, terrible. I've given up on that idea already. <laughs> <laughs> but this is really, ch but instead if people don't have this focus, what you'll see is, uh, okay, I'm gonna learn more, just, just this dearth of recipes or learn more and more about uh, different distilleries or, and that's cool to have different curiosities, but I think that uh, massive action without a clear direction is a sophisticated form of procrastination. <gasps> oh, that sounded oh. really cool. Tweet it out, Nicole. Hashtag right. sophisticated <laughs> form of procrastination. Yeah, but I, I, I believe in that. And I, I think that you, you need to have some destination in mind in order to have a day-to-day, -day, okay, I've got an hour, what do I want to do with it? Um, so you can pick and choose your time and that comes with experience, but for me, one of the easiest things was just presenting the drinks every time. This is this, that is that, that is that, and that, that I see in a lot of bars goes kind of miss. You get it at the top end, but sometimes you order a drink off a menu, and yeah, you've kind of read the ingredients, 
but it hasn't been fully explained to you. And just taking that time to explain it, if you've got the time, opens a communication, shows kind of the way you speak, the way your flow comes out, how passionate you are, and gives people an option to, to ask a question. I used to do it a lot when I worked in a nightclub. I'd just be like, Jack Daniels and Coke, mate? Yeah, not a problem. Did you know that Jack Daniels' real name was Jasper Newton Daniels? And people would be like, really? Count, right? Knowledge, Super easy. Club, yep. And then they want to know more. And before you know it, they're drinking old fashions. They're like, what cola do you use? Oh, cola. Interesting <laughs> you should ask that. What's your ratio? <laughs> <laughs> See? No, that, they were like... Chris <laughs> Louder told me that. Was, <laughs> more, the, that particular place. incident, the guy was more interested in finding out about Jack Daniels. Did you know he kicked a safe with his toe? And he was so hard he didn't go to the doctor and then he died! And then people are like, wow! And they tell their friends and the whole friends come over. Small communication. Amazing. Little snippets. It's active, it's active curiosity again. It's really listening. I mean, you've got two ears and, and one mouth, so just listening way, 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 way more than you're talking um, is, is great. I, people, guests come into a, a bar or a restaurant or a cafe or whatever, like I said, for a whole multitude of reasons. So really understanding why that is. And people just want to be heard. Um, they want to be heard, they want to know that they're missed when they're not around, uh, and, and if, if you're not listening very actively, uh, that's, that's, that's a place that you're probably missing an opportunity to increase that communication. So I, I, when I train bartenders, you know, there's a lot of bartenders that have a recipe book in their back pocket, and I just say like, okay, stop writing down recipes, I want you to write down guest names. I want you to make a goal this week of learning five regulars. What do they do and where do they work and you know, whatever. And then when they come in the next time, greet them by their first name and say hello and ask them how it's been since the last time you saw them. If you know more recipes than you know guest names and, and good jokes when you need them, you, I don't think you're a very good bartender. Really, you have to uh, get in, understand if someone's going to Spain and then the next time you see them, how was your trip to Spain? You know, and, and greet them in that way and make it personal. Uh, other book recommendation would be uh, how to win friends and influence people, which is one of the, the greats. And just talking about like what's important to you isn't important to somebody else and the best thing someone <coughs> likes to hear is their first name. So just, just knowing that, that people care and that you're missed when you're away. More globally. Thank you. Thank you. You made it, right? No one mentioned the last one.